Okay, a DVD copy of the film cost 2.75 to make the selling price is 8.20. Calculate the percentage profit. What should I do? A DVD copy of the film cost $2.75 to make, to make. That's the uh, cost price. Cost price, very good. The selling, selling price, price is, selling price is directly given. Okay. So yeah. Is 8.20. So what is the profit percentage? Uh, 8.2 minus 2.75 uh, divided by uh, 2.75 into 100. How much it is coming? 5.45 by uh, 2.75 into 100. So the percentage profit is 198.182%. Yeah, 198. 198. 198.182. Actually, it's 198.1818181818. Recurring. But 18, okay. Yeah. It's fine. 198.18. That's the percentage of this one. Okay, now it's going for write the recurring decimal 0 0.444. This is going on because it's given a dot above the number. So this is this one you have to convert into fraction. So what will be the fraction? What's uh, what? four by nine? Four by nine. So that means first step will be well, 10x is equal 10. to four point four point four. Nine x equals four. Uh, four so yeah, x is equal to 9 by 4. Sorry, 4 by 9. 4 by 9. Okay. All of you agree? Anyone have any doubt? If you have any doubts, still say you have three days left for an assessment. Okay, fine. So let's go to the next problem. Problem number 12, it's a very easy one. Anyway, problem number 12, quickly solve it. So it is 19 over 12, right? Plus 13 over 20. So 12 and 20. Do you remember one thing when they will say the show all of you working? So don't do your working somewhere else and put the answer over here. Expecting means you have to do all the working here itself. Okay, sometimes what the students do, they do LCM at the last page because the blank page is given for the rough work. So they do practice means LCM and all those things and put it directly over there. Better to do everything over here. Okay, just put a separation and then solve it. 2612, 10, 2325. So LCM will be two times, two times, three times, five. Five plus are 10 to 13, 60, right? So LCM will be 60, 12 fives, 12 fives are 60. So 19 times five, how much? How much? 95. And 12, 23. 20 times 3 is 30. So 39 three times 3 is how much? If you add, how much you'll get? Now you have to convert into uh, what is it called? Mix. Uh, mix fraction. fraction. So 2, 7, 62, 7. Over and this is and this is 30. Okay, first of all, you have to simplify this one so you'll get two seven two six or twelve. Sorry, two six or twelve. So 67 over 30. Okay, now if you convert into mixed fractions, it will be two seven over 30. This is the answer. Okay, any doubt? No doubt, sir. Okay, so let's start with problem 13 onwards. Let's begin. 
uh, the scale of so the map is 1 is to 20,000. The area of the lake map is 1.6 square centimeter. Again, remember that when you're doing for area, you have to make this map, map this scale one as a square. So, okay, you tell me what choice supposed to do. Anyone? So for, uh, we have to find the scale for the area. So we have to square uh, the scale. And then uh, you have to multiply that by 1.6 over, <coughs> no wait. Sir, I did it a different way. Okay, tell me what that's supposed to do. I'll write that. So the scale <coughs> is one is to, um, one is to four times 10 to the power of eight okay for um, area mm -hmm. and for that you have to multiply that by 1.6 to get 6.4 into 10 to the power of 8 yes. uh, centimeter squared and to convert that into meter square we have to divide that could, could by you repeat it? could you please repeat it what is that uh, what is the multiplication uh, six 6.4 into 10 to the power of 8. Okay, that is square centimeter, right? Square centimeters, yes. Okay. And to convert to square meters, we have to divide by 10 to the power of 4. Okay. And we get 6.4 into 10 to the power of 4, mm -hmm. which is 60,000 meters squared. Okay, if you give in standard form, that okay. is also fine. Oh, okay. Okay. Now problem okay. number 14. Anyone, anyone else except you? Avantika, you can say Anton. Ananya, Suprita. Auditioning. Anyone who has solved it? Sir, I got the wrong answer, Avantika. sir. Okay. Yes, Avantika, share. Uh, sir, I think I got it wrong, sir. Let it be. Then we can connect it. So say. Sir, it. I'm doing it, so can I finish it mentally? Okay. A metal fold is 500 centimeter long, correct to near a centimeter. It is already corrected over here. Uh, the pole is cut into rods, each of length 5.8 centimeter, nearest millimeter. Okay. Calculate the largest number of rods that the pole can be cut into. Anyone else can share? Uh, sir, I, I got 86. Just tell me the process. We'll write it over there. Uh, yeah, so first, uh, do 500 divided by um, 5.8. Okay. So how much will you get? Uh, 86.2068. It's like, it repeats forever. Okay, okay. So we can just keep it as 86.21 or 86.207. Okay, so it is going to like this. So 86.207. Fine. Yeah. So, um, an 80, since the answer is 86, uh, 87 is not possible because. Uh, the largest number is 86.207, so it can't go more than that. Calculate the largest number of rod that a pole can cut into. So you're saying. And so the answer should be in a whole number, right? But it cannot be 87, so it has to be 86. Okay, that's a maximum number you're saying. Yes. Anyone else? If you have anything, any question, 
cannot say that. If you are not okay with that number, that is also you can say, you can share. Wait, sir? Yes? Sir, for, the, for this question, yeah. it says correct to the nearest millimeter, right? So what if we yes. take the lower bound of 5.8? Mm, okay. So we take the upper bound of the 500 divided by the lower bound of 5.8. So that's 500.5 divided by 5.75. Okay. And then we get 87.043 uh, and continues. Mm -hmm. So for that, we also have to uh, round to round down to the nearest whole number. So I got 87. Oh. And which one is the correct one? This one or this one? Uh, sir, I think 87 is correct. Okay. Yes, 87 is the correct one. This because I that's why I marked when I was reading the question. Nearest millimeter oh. to mention over there. So largest amount of the rod can be cut into. So what you have to do, you have to find its uh, division is the correct form of operation, but you have to use this uh, lower bound and upper bound. Okay. So it is not 86, it should be 87. Okay. Avandika, is yes, the sir. doubt clear? Yes, I got it now. Okay. So now I can erase it and let's go to the next problem. Okay, now this worksheet which you are you have done last day, that also, and this also I am going to share with you through Google Classroom today itself. Okay, so three days you will get time. If you have anything, you definitely you can reach through Google Classroom and you can reply back or email or my GIS. All is fine. 